Hello everybody, hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's message I'm going to be tuning into the Divine Masculine Collective Twin Flame Current Energies and if you would like a personal reading or Twin Flame Coaching please check the description box below. And we can jump straight in with the first card. Your unconditional love and commitment to me has captivated my heart. I reflect on all the time I was unawakened to see the true beauty of you and what you were offering to me and I feel ashamed. I want to express my love, gratitude and devotion to you. I want to sh show you... Ooh, what was that? That you can count on me. Thank you for being you. Unconditional love and the way... To to unconditional love is to feel all your feelings it's really important to feel our feelings right now it's a matter of particular urgency because this will help to steer us in the right direction and bring up the next obstacle to work through and the next steps to take the purpose of having your harmonious union is the divine so is there anything stop you from stopping you from being with the divine your outside world containing me will reflect your inner relationship with the divine. You don't need to do anything other than work on your inner relationship with the divine and the rest will fall into place. Ten of swords reversed. So I may be at an impasse, caught between an urge to move forward into new ways of acting and fears that hold me back. What's actually happening now may require me to respond in new ways to break ties with counterproductive habits and bring about needed change. Focusing on deceit or liabilities intensifies their strength. Really support yourself at this time because that will help me seek, to seek emotional support and not let anxieties distract me from taking the next important step. So be alert to changes that can enhance your life because that would inspire me to do the same. And happy times are coming. Choose to have that love with me in these happy times with me. Let go of the idea that it's not for you. It absolutely is for you. It's just being brought to you in the perfect way without you having to worry about a thing. It's all been taken care of. Separation is not real. We've always been one. Thankfully, nothing can change that, no matter what you see externally. Our union is always secure and protected. That oneness is with the divine. Knowing that the relationship is safe and secure with the divine, surrender that oneness to God who is taking care of everything. So you can relax as I go through my process. Live in the moment, yeah. So really enjoy every all the wonderful things that your life has to offer right now. Is that a little bit blurred? Oop. That's better. Yeah, so live in the moment. Even stuff that seems unrelated to the Twin Flame journey. Look at what the Divine is saying to you. Is there anywhere that you're pushing against the flow? The Divine Way is always the smoothest. Trust. So trust the Divine in this place. It's okay to be surprised. Expect to be surprised. There's no need to be afraid of... Any unpleasant surprises, we've both healed through that little phase. Surrender the control to the divine, just choose the journey. The divine knows the journey in the correct way for you. Everything that you were brought is exactly the way of least resistance. All you have to do is to stay present with yourself. The moment of staying present is the way to healing. It's wonderful to become aware of the patterns that you're choosing to release and letting love into that space. Don't love, don't, don't rush loving yourself. Allow yourself to fully receive this love right now and in doing so, 
love will no longer seem like it's one step away or always out of reach no more consider your foundation so you're being asked to really take time over your healing however long it takes in this moment sit with the divine allow divine love into this place feel into it and choose to release any resistance that comes up to, to receiving this love take as much time as you need over this you deserve the extra time required to receive this love. It's the greatest gift you can give to yourself. The love is not somewhere else. It's here. It's with you in this moment. Choose to allow yourself to receive this love. Be present with yourself as you can, as you can fully have this gift and that space that is aching for love. Fill yourself up inside here. Trust the divine to fully partner with you here. Our spirits are in need of refreshing. I want you to come away with me so we can retreat from this world to replenish our souls. I want us to leave our cares behind and run away together for a while. Being in your arms all alone is so soothing to my soul. So once again, it's not all boring stuff, building the foundation. Because you're building up a nice reserve so that when our union comes in, We'll be able to go on a little retreat from the world and spend some time together. Spend some time with each other and it's going to feel great. A cornerstone divine masculine card. Yeah, you're leading the way here in being completely in charge of, your, of creating your reality. It's really the divine that has the final say, but you, you passionately know how to get your desires. Thought into desire, momentum creating changes. There's a lot of fire, you're manifesting 3D changes. You're, you're manifesting your man. I'm materialising, passion is making it happen. I'm coming in passionately, bam, I'm coming forward. I can't do anything else that God is pointing me towards you and only you. Yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of exploring in love. It's okay if we've never had this kind of love before. We'll be exploring it together. I won't be afraid to share my feelings and I'll also be able to protect and provide. Although I'm really focused on life purpose, I can balance and protect the hearts of my loved ones fiercely. I'm embracing the qualities of the king and I'm going after the woman I want. So prepare to feel the fiery passion that we all desire to feel from our partner. It's, it's extremely important also that communication, trust and respect are placed in a position of value. And that's going to lead to transformation. We're both going through a lot of transformations. It's been constant tra transformations all along and it actually feels really, really good. Give yourself permission to speak your truth authentically with feeling and expressions of love. Know that it's completely safe to feel love. If anything about that feels uneasy now, go there. Don't run from that feeling. These feelings are the way into love. Meet your feelings where they are. Allow them to unravel. You can't be hurt by them in any way. You're made of pure love, 100% pure love. You're incorruptible. Your love is stronger than anything and it's not dependent on anything else because the divine is your source. Love without expectations. Loving the divine is where twin flame love stems from, not from the outside. Give yourself all the love and reassurance you need here. While grounding yourself and getting clear-headed. It's very important to ground in with every up-leveling up of frequency at this time. Surrender is the way to know that you're safe. Do what you're guided to do. The divine leads everything. 
There's no need to put yourself under pressure. Communication with the divine is an internal process. I am you, your twin flame is you. It's not so much about words as much as how you communicate with the divine in yourself. It's not about telling me everything. I already know inside at the core. There's no need to convince me of anything. And love is also expressed through presence, showing up for yourself, showing up for the divine and showing up for me. On the inside, in your heart, and the external will reflect that relationship that you have within. Inspiration. Yeah, your twin flame is an energy, a person within the core of your being. You manifest me by loving yourself, inviting the divine in and making your life new. You'll have been investing in yourself for quite some time, I imagine. You've taken responsibility for your journey. I'm not responsible for your feelings, but you're responsible for working through them. When you completely heal through something, it's gone and you can let, let it go. This requires presence with yourself. If there's any part of you that feels not showing up for by me, the upset is that you're not showing up for you here. And if you're not showing up for yourself in, in this place, then I can't show up for you. Nobody can take your love away. Your love is here and now, not with me, but with the divine. Choose to let the divine love you in this place. Choose for the divine to be enough. Let her feel you, love, feel you up so you feel fully loved. There's never any lack of love. The divine is here. The moment you call her in, whenever you become aware that you need love, divine love is here. Blessed relief. And then that's when I can come into your life because the external will shift to what your heart feels. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.